Hi, I'm Andy from Target Transfers, and today I'm joined by Ellen from GraphTech, the UK's leading supplier of vinyl cutters. And we're talking vinyl blades today. So Ellen, tell us a little bit about vinyl blades. We've got the CE7000-60 here. So which blade do you get that comes as standard with this? So using blades is a common question that we always get asked. Yep. What's the best blade to use? So with the Graftec machine, they come with a standard 09 blade and blade holder. Yep. So this is perfect for cutting your standard, you know, thin vinyls, like your premiums, your flex vinyl. That's perfect for using this type of blade. Yep. So you can just, you know, amend the blade using the nozzle and it can reveal more blade or take more take blade away, depending yep. on the, the type of material. And this is always, you always want as much blade as there is material, exactly. roughly. Exactly. So you can pretty much do, cut most materials with this blade. Yep. There is an alternative blade for the thicker materials, so okay. for the high build and yep. the flock, for instance, where you can use the the 1.5 blade and blade yep. holder. You have to buy the blade holder to fit the blade, otherwise yep. it won't won't fit into yes, the standard blade. This doesn't come with the machine, but it, it is possible to add add on. Yeah. Same as what you would use with the normal blade, the 09 blade. Again, you would use a nozzle to reveal or take away. Blade. Yeah, and if anyone is not familiar, you've got the blade and the blade holder there. That's yep. all part of the one same thing. So you don't have to buy a separate attachment to put different blades in here. They all go in the same thing. It's just the blade is like the tiniest little thing. You couldn't, you wouldn't even show up on camera. No. Nope. But you've got you've got both parts you need there. Yeah. And they just pop in and pop out of this machine really nice and easily. So it's really easy to swap between different blade types, no matter what type of vinyl you're cutting. That's right. And then the only thing you'd need to change is the blade. Once you've yep. used the blade and it's gone blunt over time, and that's when you'd need to change the blade. You don't yep. ever need to change the blade holder unless you lose it. Exactly. Now we're going to show you how to change the blade. So Ellen, can you show us just how easy it is to change a blade? So what you have here is the blue nozzle. All you need to do is twist this. And then inside is the blade. So you can just change out the blade, pop that back in, and then twist that back on. find that your blade's not cutting quite right you would need to double check that there's no vinyl stuck in the blade okay. holder so to do that you just pop the blade out and then yep. just give it a clean or take it out and just blow it through okay so there's no material there stuck yeah good idea you then pop it into the position and, and twist that tight and it doesn't matter which way around you put the actual blade with the blade holder into it doesn't it matter. doesn't matter at all it doesn't matter at all so it's really really nice and easy On the machine as well, it has conditions, and the conditions mean you can set up the blade and the settings up to eight times. Okay. So if you're using your standard blade for cutting out your flex material, you can save those settings that you've used yep. in condition number one. And if you're using the 1.5 blade, again, you can change the settings and save that in right. condition number two. So you can go back to it so you're not getting confused, so you've not got yep. sheets of paper everywhere with all your different settings on. It can all be controlled from the Excellent. machine. Excellent. Really nice and easy that way. That way you can always follow the recipe every single time, just like you will be with your fusing. So that's how you change a blade on the GraphTech CE7000. Thank you very much to Ellen for joining us today. If you'd like to see more videos about how to use the GraphTech CE7000, then go onto our YouTube channel and find the GraphTech playlist. We've got lots of great content, tips and tricks for you to follow along there.